Welcome to the 2021-22 NCAA Basketball Weekly Whistle Video, number six. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This training video will serve as a reminder of Directive Number 1, Rule 10-1.4, Hand Checking Body Bumping the Ball Handler. As the 2021-22 season began, officials allowed too much hand checking on ball handlers out front. We have made progress in the last few weeks giving the ball handler freedom of movement. Officials have been instructed to call 10-1-4 fouls on illegal actions continue the enforcement of Rule 1014 and not back down. Let's look at the rule. Rule 1014. The following acts constitute a foul when committed against a player with the ball. Keeping a hand or forearm on an opponent. Putting two hands on an opponent. Continually jabbing an opponent by extending an arm or arms and placing a hand or a forearm on the opponent and using an armbar to impede the progress of the dribbler. Let's look at some plays. Number 23 white dribbles toward the top of the key as number one blue defends the play. Number one blue moves forward toward number 23 white and illegally uses his body and both hands to check number 23 white. The center official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number one blue. Number 13 white dribbles the ball near half court as number 11 red defends the play. Number 11 red moves toward number 13 white, closes the gap, and uses a left arm bar and his right hand to illegally check number 13 white. The trail official, in good position, correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number 11 red. Number 1 green catches the ball at the elbow and drives to the basket as number 25 white defends the play. Number 25 white illegally uses both hands to check number one green to slow him down. The trail official correctly calls a 10-1-4 foul on number 25 white. Number 25 blue dribbles the ball to the elbow and then down the lane line as number two white defends the play. Number two white illegally reaches with his right arm and body bumps the dribbler. Both the center and trail officials correctly call a 10-1-4 foul on number two white. Number one blue catches a pass in the back court and dribbles toward half court as number three white defends the play. Number three white closes the gap, reaches with his right arm, and body bumps the dribbler. This type of hand checking and body bumping is a foul and needed to be called. Number two black dribbles the ball near half court as number two white defends the play. Number two white moves toward number two black, closes the gap, illegally reaches with his right arm, and body checks number two black. This type of hand checking and body bumping is a foul and needed to be called. Number 11 blue catches a pass in the corner and drives the baseline as number one white defends the play. Number one white closes the gap and illegally body bumps number 11 blue. This type of body bumping is a foul and needed to be called. Officials have been instructed to consistently call 10-1-4 fouls on illegal actions. Ball handlers must have freedom of movement. The 2021-22 regular season is in full swing. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. And thank you for your interest in college basketball.